it's very common for people to always ask how expensive it is here in Russia, how cheap it is here in Russia. I've given you guys many prices over the time and I want to tell you what we've most spent on. The property that we're standing on right now cost back in the day 1 million rubles. The dollar was at about uh, 100 uh, rubles and this means we paid about 10,000 dollars to buy the property. Now this property we bought it because it's in the town that we want to live in. It's also about 10 minutes away from Lake Baikal and 10 minutes from the center of the town and relatively close to Irkutsk city. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away. Today I'm going to tell you the second most expensive project that we've done on the plot. It's worth thousands of dollars but before I do I've told you in the past that we had to demolish a lot. The majority of the work on this plot was bringing down buildings that were here. Cows used to live here. There was a stone building with its own foundation. There was a foundation here behind me that we had to pay to get removed. There's been so much demolition work being done that actually now is the first big major investment that we've done and it's in the thousands like I said. Hello, my name is Dan Castle. Myself and my wife have bought property here in Russia. I'm an American, she's a Russian, and these videos are educational so that you get a better idea of what's actually happening here in Russia. Now, I must say, this is a big disclaimer. It's actually not as cheap as you think, and I'm not complaining, but the, rea the reality is that sanctions actually did affect uh, some of the produce uh, costs, some of the building costs, they have gone up significantly year by year and we've noticed it because we have owned this for about six months and in those six months uh, prices have gone up. This is just the way of life here in Russia. The sanctions, uh, the ability to get things from outside or inside of Russia fluctuate prices whether it's building uh, materials whether it's food and all of these things but today we're going to concentrate on building materials and now it's time to show you our second largest project and an update on our wall now obviously the wall project was a big project and there's no way I could have done it by myself as beautiful as it's coming out behind me is the truck of the workers that I've hired and uh, they're actually putting the wall up as we speak. But I wanted to let you know that yes, the reason why this costs a lot is because I needed to pay for the majority of the labor. And also the most important thing is that I want it done right. The cost of pouring the concrete and uh, the ditch, the metal work, it was 120,000. Uh, rubles and uh, the conversion rate is going to be on the screen but what you have to know is that we decided and opted to doing it this way rather than just digging holes like we were doing in the the other side is because we need something to be a lot more uh, I guess we want it to last we don't want it to break if I didn't trust myself doing it myself and I believe that some major project should obviously have professionals this is a uh, reinforced down with uh, rebar this is reinforced by deeper holes the concrete here has been laid higher because we plan on leveling this out with the uh, with the dirt and it's actually going to be a place where we have other types of farming going on so right now it is not filled up but the concrete is high enough to where it's going to be level with the rest of the plot Something that we haven't mentioned is that here where I'm standing, there used to be a, a light post, electric post. That one back there that's behind me used to be here inside of our land, but we needed it moved. And you can see one, two, three meters. It was three meters into our land, but we've reclaimed it. I also have to mention that we did buy again this land that was from here in a in a small, small, acute triangle angle here all the way to the end. And uh, that also didn't belong to us. So we went to the government and we bought that piece of land. And that's why our land wall is butted up with the neighbor. So this is also a high level move that we did. Otherwise we would have had to end the wall here and then build it at a strange angle. But thank uh, Xenia for handling that issue. And we have it all the way. 
And this is going to give you kind of an example of how just how deep, uh, how much lower the ground is on this side. You can see it's uh, above my knees. Uh, and if you stand on it, this is how it's going to look. Comment down below if uh, you think 120,000 rubles was worth it. We sure do uh, believe that it was worth it because there's no way we would have done it on time ourselves. As great as it's done, this is the type of stuff that we're spending money on. And these are the type of things that are going to move us forward and get us ready to build the actual house. Now, the other thing that cost us quite a bit is uh, this gate that is 18 feet uh, wide. This gate is going to be electric push button. It's already set up. They just have to put the motor on. There's also going to be a door here to walk in with the key. The, now, this is all coming together and it also has the concrete foundation. It's all going to be really stable and outlast even <laughs> myself. So this project here for the wall uh, for the gate and this door with everything done is uh, 150,000 rubles uh, the conversion rate again is going to be on the screen and for miscellaneous it's uh, we'll add that up later but for the most part this is what the majority of the work is is the gate the wall and the miscellaneous and here you get to see another electric post. Believe it or not, this one was also on our property. And it was further in, right along this wall. So what we did is the same thing. They moved it from inside our land, about a meter or half a meter outside of our land. Uh, in this direction, it's now outside of our land. But it's not a problem because this wall uh, is not touching it and there's plenty of room. And when we're talking about the cost of putting up this uh, wall with the concrete and everything, this was all welded, okay? This is a welding job. There are welders who are doing this. Um, now they're putting up the sheet metal and now I'm going to show you what the wall is looking like now. Uh, we've obviously seen it without its cover, but now it's time to show you how it looks with its uh, sheet metal on. This is the back view before I reveal what color we chose and the design that we chose. I wanted to show you the back view so that you can see how different it looks, right? Now there's a wall there. Now it's not wooden. Now it's not bulky with the railroad ties. You know that's how we did the other walls. Uh, on the other sides, which are not going to be the front of the house, we really didn't think we needed uh, this type of wall, but... This is the back of the wall and they're still putting up the sheets now. Again, I'm telling you, they could do a way better job than me. I admit it and I want to invest money into the property when jobs can be done better than what I can do them. The sidewalls Xenia and I did, they turned out fine and they will hold for as long as we need them. And we actually did them this summer. And so you can compare it before again we show the front of that. This is what we did in the summer. They were railroad ties. You see these railroad ties here? This is how uh, we put the posts down. A lot of digging involved. Very, very hectic uh, work being done. Uh, and this is the type of wall that we put up during the summer. Uh, obviously, wood is a lot cheaper. Obviously, wood is not as aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But since this is going to be only on this side and not in the front for us because our house is going to be over there where I'm looking, we're going to be looking at this wall every day in the mornings, and we just wanted something in front of us to look beautiful. You guys leave a comment down below if you think that we should have just done it ourselves. Leave a comment below, please, if you think that this investment is bad. I'm really curious in knowing your guys' opinion, how you would do it. Obviously, everybody's life is different. Everybody's uh, goals and dreams are different. Xenia and I really wanted a really well done front uh, fence, uh, a gate that's electric. I wanted it this way. I had a buddy here in Irkutsk who has a push button electric uh, gate that opens. And I was like, I need to have that style, right? He motivated me and changed my goals because we used to have a gate that opened like this. Um, and I, once I learned about his, I said, no, 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 I want to be a push button guy. So let me know what you would do. Obviously, you know, some of the prices so far, and, uh, let me know if it's worth it for you guys. Um, the gate, the door and the concrete, uh, work was, uh, 150,000 
and the wall was uh, 120,000 and uh, miscellaneous. So we paid for the sheet metal that we're about to show you 57,000. That's for all of the all of the sheet metal to cover the entire wall. The metal that's going to cover the door, the door and the gate were subtracted from the absolute total of the cost. Let's go check out how it looks in the front. This is the color that we went with. It's a darker gray. And this is the design that we went with. A lot of people uh, probably use this for roofing, but we love this uh, big dip in there. And these are really much thicker than some people get. We wanted better material and a better design. So you can see just how gorgeous it looks. This is picked out by Xenia. Uh, this is the design that we wanted. And in the future, we're gonna put an overhead uh, smoothener thing so it doesn't look uh, so bare on top. This is what it looks like and it's being put on right now. Today, the men should be done with the work all the way towards the end and then they're gonna work on the gate. But uh, what do you guys think about the color and what do you think about the design? Everybody's big problem was how were the neighbors gonna drive into their property and you can see the tire tracks and you can see both walls now, how nicely, uh, how nicely it came out. There's enough space for even two cars to fit here side by side. I believe there's enough space for two, obviously not to drive comfortably, but you can sit them side by side and they should be able to fit. The problem that the, we had here was not again with our neighbors, it was with the government and uh, we sorted that out. So nobody has to worry about this anymore. The wall, when it's closed off, will obviously be next to the other neighbors and it's all looking fantastic. I am so pleased with it. And this is how the wall is looking like now. It's going to be this beautiful great wall of Russia, we call it. Uh, Donald Trump let us know we have to build that wall and we're doing it. Uh, a lot of people make the joke that uh, Mexican-American building a wall in Russia, they've seen it all. We've seen it all as well. I think this is the best wall here in, in Sludanka. This, these people are doing an amazing job. And uh, I want to know what you guys think. I keep asking you because if you had the money, would you invest on a wall? And here is our old wall. This is our old wall. This is the old material. And uh, now it's going to be firewood. And it's a huge difference between wood and the sheet metal that we have, right? For me and for Xenia, the better option was to invest in a more beautiful wall. And now you see the results. And in the future, when the gate is connected and everything is working, we're going to come back and show you uh, how, it, how it came out, uh, the finished product. I'm going to show you a little bit more about the gate. And uh, you tell me more and more, is the price worth it? Is it worth it to invest in something like the wall? You can see the guys that are working right now. Uh, they're doing a much better job than I ever could. And this is why I believe... You guys, if you come to Russia, invest in these type of things. That is my opinion. Uh, the, the land cost uh, $1 million, and this cost about $300,000 rough, uh, roughly. And uh, so far, I think these have been good investments. You see how large this gate is. I've told you it's 18 meters and it has this anchor portion in the back to counterweight. This is the counterweight and uh, it's fairly easy to move. I'm not going to move it now because they're working here, but it's really, really simple to move. See how light that is? See how light that is? It moves very easily and it's going to be operated by an electric mortar. The mortar is going to be mounted right here and what it has is... It has teeth, it has grooves here on the bottom where when it spins, the motor is going to move the gate and close it. Um, this gate is very large because the street coming in is a little bit narrow, so we need that extra space. But when, I, when we told them we wanted it to be 6 meters long or 18 feet, they were like, really? So long? So big? And uh, we said, yes, this is what we want, and they made it happen. They will cover the gate with its own sheet metal. It's going to be a little bit different than the wall because we want it to kind of be noticeable that here's the door. And uh, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, creation by them. This was done and welded by them and they brought it in and everything is unique, especially for this door. Now, I've told you 
that uh, this is going to be an electric gate but even if it wasn't electric i want to show you just how easy it is to move how smooth it is you see nice and smooth six meters long yes it's heavy but it's really smooth and the good thing is that when it's winter, there's no tire on this uh, gate. So the tire's not going to get stuck on the snow. And it's not going to have to open in any direction. It's just going to slide down. And if I just keep this clean, it should be able to open and close. Really simple. You see that? So shout out to Simon for... Giving me the dream of wanting a push button gate, electric gate. That's awesome. We started this video talking about the prices, are they expensive, are they cheap? It just matters to you how much you can afford, how much you can uh, put forward to do different types of projects. The sanctions are affecting the prices, but they are going up naturally anywhere, anyways, everywhere else in the world. And in reality, you have to outweigh what you want to spend on. We needed a wall because we're going to buy the building materials for the house this year in December. So we need to be able to protect our materials and we need to be able to feel comfortable with that. In the end of the day, it's you and your money and your dreams. Some people, when they write to me, they say they have hundreds of thousands of dollars. Essentially, they don't have to do this step. They don't have to worry about these things. They can just buy a house that's ready and uh, do these mega projects if they'd like. But for us, this is the optimal route because when we got married, when I decided to move here to Russia, I didn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars. I just knew that uh, we wanted to live in this town, so we had to look around. This was the best option for us. And by the time we're done building the house, you will know how much it cost. These type of projects, I'm happy in sharing the prices with you. I really hope that you enjoyed the breakdown of this type of work. I know there's a lot of people who are moving to Russia. Uh, hopefully this is just another type of video that gives you insight on what it really costs to build here, what it really costs to live here. I truly enjoy making this type of video for you guys. So if there's any other things that you want to know, how much they cost, you just have to let me know.